Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to do a quick test on how far my Happy Model EP2 can actually go. We're actually going to fly it till it fail saves. So I've just taken off and I'm just doing a quick little test in my area to make sure the drone is flying 100%. I'm not flying behind trees and you can see there's already some breakup with the antenna that I've got. But I know as soon as I go in front of myself with the antenna that I've got on my goggles, uh, things will much be much better. So let me just quickly fly out and I'll forward this little section because there's no real reason for you guys to watch this first little bit. We'll pick it up as soon as we get to the end of the range before it fails saves. Okay, yeah, we've just passed the two and a half kilometer mark and uh, we're just going to keep going a little bit further and you'll see what's going to happen. So I have been flying here before and I know that with an EP1 I can easily go over this hill three, three and a half kilometers before I come back because I physically lose line of sight. But this is the first time I'm setting out an EP2 this far and I was very curious because uh, everyone says the Express LRS is fantastic. Now I wish I had OSD that I could show you but I don't. The uh, cross, well, the RSS IDBM was sitting at like 94, 95, and then it went up to like 99, round about year. And I said, okay, cool, I'm running at 150 milliwatts. I still have some space, uh, but you'd rather let's just be safe and then go home. But as you can see, as soon as I turn, there's the first micro fail safe, and GPS rescue kicks in, and I'm a noob, and I touch my sticks, and the drone drops again because it lost signal. GPS rescue kicks in again. And I'm very lucky for this because I flipped the switch uh, and now you can see it's going all the way up and uh, there's a few frames that I've got skipped there for some reason but the GPS rescue essentially is doing what it's supposed to do. So first I got a fail safe and the drone took over itself obviously and me being a noob moved my sticks because I was going what's going on I don't have any controls in my sticks and as soon as I did that the drone obviously um, <laughs> took over, well, I, I took control over and essentially the drone was going to fall. So, so as soon as I saw that, I flipped over to angle mode and GPS rescue. I recommend that you guys always have an angle mode on your system, maybe even set it up with GPS rescue so that when this happens, you can actually just get out of jail quickly. Now, I'm running Better Flight 4.4 and fantastic. Guys, if you have not loaded Better Flight 4.4 in your system, go do it now. This GPS rescue you see now is just cruising back on the default 15 kilometers an hour. I updated it to I think 30 kilometers an hour as soon as I landed, but this saved my quad. Beta Flight 4.4 is really, really fantastic. Yes, Beta Flight 4.2, 4.3 would do the exact same thing here, but you'll see when I get back, the way that Beta Flight 4.4 just operates is just really, really nice. This drone is gonna go back all the way and essentially land itself. So let me just forward to that bit. Oh wait, my Beta Flight's actually set to go to maximum altitude. So when I do lose signal, it goes to the highest altitude that I was at. But guess what? As soon as it got back and just above my home direction, um, it physically stopped and I, I think my distance showed five meters or nine meters on my controller and in my goggles and it essentially went all the way down and landed by itself and turned off the motors. This is just absolutely amazing, really amazing.